Hello world, we are writing a shell script, this time on Hack Tip. Welcome to Hack Tip, the show where we break down concepts, tools, and techniques for hackers, gurus, and IT ninjas. I'm your host, Shannon Morse, and today we are writing our very first shell script. Yay! So up till now, I have pretty much shown you all of the basics of using the command line day to day. You've probably seen people running programs in the terminal that start with a dot and a slash and end with some kind of file name, but there is no file type. What they are actually doing is executing shell scripts. So yes, today we are getting into programming at a very basic level. So shell scripts hold a series of commands inside of a file, and these scripts can specifically be read and executed on by your shell because the shell can not only be used as an interface, but also as a scripting language interpreter. So if you have a command that you commonly have to run or something that would require several different lines of commands, you might want to turn it into a shell script instead. You'll first need to write your shell script using some kind of program like gedit, vim, etc., and then you'll need to make it execute executable in the terminal, then you can actually either execute it wherever it sits on your computer file directory, or you can move it somewhere that's pre-searched by your terminal. So I'm going to use gedit here since it's so simple, and I'll do the ever popular hello world script, and I'll show you how to write that. So let's go ahead and open up gedit. Okay, so here we have gedit, and I'm going to start with the first line. I apologize, it is very small on the screen, but that is going to start with a pound exclamation mark forward slash bin forward slash bash. I'll hit enter a couple of times and then I'm gonna write something that's a comment. So I'm gonna just use another hashtag or a pound sign and I'm going to type in, let's see, here's an example of a comment. This script will work as an example, hello world. And I'll also add myself as an author and then I'll continue on with the actual command. So this one is going to be echo hello world, which is quite simple and close that out of course with the quotes. And I'm also going to add another comment too. So here's another comment. Cool. Okay, so that is it for our shell script. That is it. So to break this down, you will notice that the echo line works just like it would work in the terminal. So in the command line interface, for example, I could type in echo and then the same thing, hello world, and end it with some kind of comment here and hit enter and you'll notice that the only thing that comes out is what was echoed, hello world, and the comment is just completely zeroed out. You don't see the comment in my output. If I go back over to my shell script, you'll notice that the second line is a comment as well in gedit. And that topmost line is a little bit different. It looks weird because it starts with that hashtag and then an exclamation mark or that pound and an exclamation mark. So this is called a shebang and that tells your computer that you are going to interpret this within bash. So you will see this for pretty much every basic script that you write that you intend to interpret with your bash terminal. So now go ahead and save your gedit file on your desktop or wherever you want to save it. I don't really care because we will change it in the future. I'm going to save it on my desktop and I'm going to call it Hey World. And you'll notice that I don't change anything else. It's just a text file. Okay, so before we get into executing, let's go ahead and take a quick break to thank our sponsor. IT people know how it is. When all of those alerts and tickets light up your monitor like a Christmas tree, you are not being productive. You are just stressed out. No mere mortal can analyze all of those alerts and respond to all of those tickets. Good news though, you can immediately reduce that noise with Moogsoft AI Ops. Moogsoft AI Ops is artificial intelligence for IT operations that reduces your IT alerts and tickets by up to 90%, guaranteed. Moogsoft AI Ops platform integrates with all of your existing IT tools and their patented technology correlates events into actionable work items. They're called situations, so that you can focus on tackling the stuff that really matters. In one case study, a company was experiencing time Tons of alert fatigue, lack of context, thousands of tickets, and Moogsoft came in and they fixed these issues and they saw a 33% reduction in mean time to restore in the business. Now with Moogsoft AI Ops, you can reduce your IT alerts and tickets by up to 99% right now. Visit Moogsoft.com to get a demo. That is M-O-O-G-S-O-F-T.com. Moogsoft.com. 
All right, so now we are back with writing scripts. So now that we have saved out a new shell script using gedit, you will notice that the gedit now gives me this really pretty syntax coloring. Yay! And each of these different lines has a different color. So first of all, we have the bin bash shebang sign up here. This one is bolded in blue. Then we have a non-bold text for the comments, which are also in blue. Echo is in red. Then we have hello world, which is the actual command right here. That is is highlighted in pink. And then we have another comment, which no surprise there, it's also in blue. Now these will be the same colors that you see across any other scripts that you write in gedit, which will help you in the long term if you memorize what those colors are so you can easily look at a script and know exactly which each part is. Now we need to make this new text file executable. So to do so, you go over to your terminal and you're going to change the directory to the place that you saved the file. Or you can just type in lstechl world or whatever your file name is if you are already in that directory. So I'm going to switch over to the desktop over here. And if I ls, you'll notice that I have hey world right there. And I'm going to type in ls tech l hey world and hit enter. Okay, so this is going to show you the current permissions for the file. And you will notice that it is not executable. So to add this, we're going to change the modifier. So we're going to change the permissions with ch mod 755 hey world and then hit enter. So if I type ls tech l slash hey world again, you'll notice that now it's executable with that little X at the end. Cool. Now we have covered permissions in detail on our hack tip episode, which is titled Linux Terminal 101, how to use permissions, which is linked below. So I'm not going to cover permissions in this episode. Now to execute the new file, if you are in the current directory of the file, you can just type into your terminal like so, dot slash, hey world, and hit enter. And you should just see the echoed quote, which is hello world. Cool, all right, it worked. Yay, that's awesome. And of course, if you had any issues with that, we will talk over some problems that you could commonly run into with executing scripts in the next episode. So now you have officially written and executed your first shell script. Congratulations, I'm very proud of you. We will talk more about shell scripts next time on Hack Tip, but until then, I wanna hear your feedback. So comment below and be sure to check out our sister show, Hack 5. Darren's been doing some awesome stuff over there for more great stuff just like this. And I will always be on the channel reminding you to trust your technolust.